went wrong in the NASA collision to the point of they're getting here, where they're having closed the meetings, their leader does not want to meet them. And um, during the campaigns last year, they were very strong and they were very together. So what went amiss? Because this has shocked so many people. In fact, there's a woman who kept on complaining about the march, saying, why did they have to do this now? Considering Kenya has lost a couple of lives, businesses have been affected, the economy as a whole has gone down. So what went wrong in the NASA collision? Um, thank you, Nina. Uh, I claim the blessings of being a professor. Uh, soon, soon, in the, in the coming <laughs> days. <laughs> um, what went wrong is this coalition was for Raila's benefit and for no one else's benefit. Mm. I need us to go back to the election period. What was Kalonzo bringing on the table? What was Mudavadi bringing on the table? And what was Atangula bringing on the table? Mm -hmm. Essentially, you find <coughs> that if you combine all their efforts and what Raila was bringing on the table, mm -hmm. they were basically clinging on to him. Mm -hmm. We need to go back to 1999, thereabout, when Raila led NDP to walk into Kano. 97. Yeah, around 97, thereabout, mm -hmm. where NDP walked into Kano. And come 2002, just before 2002, mm -hmm. he walked out and destroyed Kanu from within. Mm -hmm. My crystal ball always tells me something. And at this point, Raila has gone in, and these are three alphas. Mm -hmm. You're talking of Uhuru, you're talking of Ruto, and you're talking of Raila. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a clash at some point. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we need to always remember, I always say that aristocrats know each other. And Raila and Uhuru are aristocrats. Mm -hmm. Ruto is a newcomer into this political world. Mm -hmm. and, and in this regard, especially as Alice has mentioned, when you go to a referendum, remember Ruto is the one who's touted to be president in 2022. Mm -hmm. Should the proposals not favor him, he'll be on the no side. And then mm -hmm. the president and Raila will be on the yes side. Now, Origin that creates, banana. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. And that creates a whole different demarcation, mm -hmm. which is why Kalonzo and Mudavadi and Rotangula mm -hmm might be safer off if they start out in Ruto mm -hmm. and then wait to see what happens. Mm. Because it can't be silent for too long, especially when Raila is in. I hear he's going to be given an office and advisors and all that. Mm. Um, and then like was mentioned before I came in, the aspect of he pulled the rug under their feet. Mm -hmm. They were expecting, actually there was rumor that Kalonzo and uh, Mudavadi were going to meet the president at some point. Mm -hmm. But Raila is a master stroke uh, in this regard. And you can see the people you went with are ODM people, not NASA. Mm -hmm. If it was NASA, you'd have a wiper person there mm -hmm. or an ANC person it was there. Muhammad but you went with Rosemary, an yes. ODM person. Mm -hmm. And if you hear what ODM has been saying of late, even with Joho and the like, is that ODM is ready to go on its own. Mm -hmm. And as it stands, ODM is the strongest party mm -hmm. after Jubilee in this country. So NASA, uh, wiper, ANC, or NASA is hinged on ODM. So Whether we like it or not. So does that mean we're done with NASA? There is no more NASA? It's going to break eventually. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It, it, it was just a vehicle for 2017. Mm -hmm. uh, its job is done. Does it, doesn't that make um, former Prime Minister Raila Dengen, this is just a question here, yeah? no one should attack me, but doesn't that make former Pre uh, Prime Minister Raila Dengen selfish? Should we term him as a selfish man? No. Why? Raila yes. is not selfish. <laughs> Raila is a simply a calculative uh, politician. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's no different from uh, what we see with uh, William Ruto, taking very swift moves to save oneself mm -hmm. um, from political oblivion. Mm -hmm. And that is exactly what Raila has done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so remember, this whole drama actually um, escalated uh, during the swearing in of uh, Raila Odinga. Mm -hmm. And that is when uh, the sharp rifts began emerging in, uh, in NASA. Mm -hmm. You know, that uh, whole issue of uh, betrayal, you know, the other side saying that Raila betrayed us mm -hmm. by, you know, not inviting us to the ceremony. And then Raila says they betrayed me by letting me go eat alone mm -hmm. you know that is where um, you know the rain started beating NASA mm -hmm. and uh, so far we can see that uh, their differences are irredeemable 
I gather that today they are meeting uh, to, to, to strategize on uh, the way forward. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is said that uh, the meeting for today had been agreed on and concluded as per last week, and Raila had promised to appear in the meeting. But today, through his personal assistant, Dennis Onyango, he says that uh, there, is, there is nothing like that. They are not in the know about the meeting, and so they are all saying that he's not going to meet them. In fact, uh, he's traveling to Tanzania today to meet uh, President Magufuli. Yeah, and, 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 and I wish to advise President Uhuru to seize this opportunity. I remember during the interview for uh, CS uh, Ambassador Monica Juma, mm -hmm. whereby they were talking about um, you know, revisiting the issue of uh, the Kenya diplomatic uh, uh, position with uh, Tanzania. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a good chance for you know, the, the government to clinch on the goodwill of Raila Odinga to mm -hmm. Magufuli to ensure that uh, these long-standing differences between Kenya and Tanzania are settled once and for all. And it would be even to the greater benefit of the East African community. And that's what our caller had to say. We have a president yeah. and we have one who's full of investors, so they had to merge. <laughs> exactly. They, they had to merge. Otherwise, on, on Raila's good international image, even to settle with, you know, these debtors who are on our neck. Mm -hmm. Perhaps even they can send Raila on, on a mission, maybe to talk to IMF or Ambia Wapunguze Mzuka. Yes, if Raila can do that, we'd be more than happy. You don't agree uh, to, to what she was saying, but before that, uh, before I give you um, a chance to speak, uh, very good morning. Good morning, Paul. Okay, Mo. Paul, we, can you hear me? Oh, no. All right, we'll be getting back to Paul. Now, before um, Paul was about to tell us what he's thinking, when I asked uh, our panelists if um, they think Wiley is selfish, of course, uh, Ali said no. Mm -hmm. Far from that. And I can see Alan is agreeing as well. Elliot, talk to us. Well, I. I, I I think Raila and any other leader who abandons sheep mm -hmm. is likely to be selfish. Uh, if we can go back to 1987, mm -hmm. we can go back to 2002, all this time, uh, the fact that uh, Raila would actually leave just for the sake of his own uh, legacy, for the sake of his, his own future, mm -hmm. would leave uh, the major parties that he has been in, uh, then it shows something. It shows that it's always about him. It's all, uh, all about uh, uh, safeguarding the future for himself. Mm -hmm. And because he's tried all along to actually uh, vie for the presidency and, uh, and get to the, to the house on the hill, mm -hmm. and he has failed to do it. Uh, this is also another move to actually try and see whether he himself or someone that he has been mentoring uh, to actually occupy that. Mm -hmm.